What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Rare Drop Roleplay, Meteorian Core, Episode 11, After Show. Hello. Well, hello there. Yes, greetings. Cheers. Both hands on the wheel, roller coaster. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Combat, was... and then not combat, and then maybe combat, and no combat. <laughs> A little this and that. I think it all hinged. I was really really hoping for Biddy's minor illusion to just oh. give us everything we needed in that moment. <laughs> yeah. And then he went right back into it. <laughs> I am so happy for the first time in my life that I failed a revivify check because no. Mud sends me a couple of DMs and goes, hey, let's line out a few things before the episode. And in particular, there's the talk of Jacob's patron. And we get to find out about the set of deals that are still on the table. So no matter what, I wanted that to be the cornerstone of Jacob not getting away, but I wanted it to be high drama and I wanted to put Tannerook in charge of that. and hold that possession like no i'm taking jacob down to hell with me so tanner Oak's plan is not to fight the rest of you it's to take jacob and run away so on his turn he's not gonna fight he's actually gonna leave with jacob's soul however the dice and one particular floof and heron gone and toff another Critical hit, DTD. Well timed. Didn't you crit the Tannerick before too? Yes, that is how I have always murdered him. <laughs> Top is like the monster to this monster. Yes, it's, it's I am the... in his nightmares. He's down in some some dive Funny. bar in a burnish. He can't go to a pet shop without crying now. <laughs> oh, he doesn't go to the Panera anymore. No more broccoli bread bowls for him. It's a, it's a fucking rabbit with a skull for a helmet, and it's got a spine sword. I, I can't get away from it. It's gonna kill me twice now. <laughs> it's gonna be Tolpy Tanneric round four, and Tolpy's literally just gonna be like, "How many times do I have to teach you, old man? Come here, we're doing this again." Got like oh a, my god, that's the right energy. on your shoulder. Yeah, 12 Tanner Rooks. <laughs> ESPN, like chill. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I think the greatest juxtaposition of this episode is going over what can be the consequences of Jacob's fireball as he returns with one HP and looks to just burn this situation down. And then, I don't know, everybody kind of takes their own turn in their own verbal burning it. <laughs> I mean, I think it might have just been better if I just fucking fireballed everybody. You know, much as I... <laughs> We'd have the money still. Much as, much as I did try <laughs> and find a diplomatic solution out of it, I'm <laughs> also wondering the same thing. But... Acknowledging also the consequences of potentially burning down the boat. And man, God, I really wonder how that would have gone. I really, really do wonder. I I I mean, he was dead, so he's coming out of this death thing and then sees the people that killed him and you know, that it would make sense yeah. to me or someone to you know, bl mm -hmm. blow it all up. Um so mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe uh, Nelson could have got to show his Jar Jar diving skills off the side of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Action movie jumping away from the explosion. But <laughs> <laughs> goofy like Jar Jar. Does 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 Nelson make the noises too? Yes. <laughs> Please do. I'm honestly surprised you didn't fireball everyone. I was. I'm too. too. Mm. Yeah. Why didn't I mean, you? The DM I'm... was working hard against it. <laughs> was I not. Mean, I don't know. No, that is not. You can you can ask Mud. We have done. We have gone many ways on it. It is only my job 
to levy out what can happen if you do so that you have all the information if you want to send it then you send it and he has sent That's it plenty it. he has sent it plenty of times i just like to make it transparent so that someone doesn't feel oh the fuck are you doing to me that's fair but knowing well, that mean, about you guys i felt like you pushed it a little hard that's all i'm saying i mean <laughs> i don't know there was definitely there was definitely the 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 line about uh it will fracture the party and i I had a little trouble yeah. underst understanding how that would. Oh, well, I would have walked 100%. Yeah. I would have okay. walked. Well, Brom would have walked. I was like, I'm not sure the rest of them would, though. So I was, I was uh, mulling that over. Uh, uh, it would... seems like a reasonable reaction to dying. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have got paid. Well, that's fair. Uh, Brom would have walked and still probably had. I don't know. Like, still not paid. You uh, still yeah. Not yeah, we're still, still not paid. paid. Yeah. Damn it. Paid in our debt. We're not getting paid and we're in but debt. But there has to be like double negative right now. <laughs> I'm going to oh give you God, consequences. I pissed off that would have walked away. Yeah. It's my job to give you consequences so that murder hobo isn't a lifestyle because it's not. It will end, you will end up in one way or the other getting fucked by something. If you choose to live your lifestyle 100 like this, you have to choose your points when you do it and when you don't. And that, for certain, killing the innocents that you swindled onto the boat over not paying a small fee at that point goes from being a heroic campaign, and you guys are just just evil rolling around, and that. It's true. Well, I mean, the intention wasn't to kill the innocents. The intention was to kill the fucker with the top hat but the uh you know or those who had really you. like more more yeah. really discerning. i wasn't being discerning <laughs> yeah you know yeah. it's I more mean, of an accuracy that's a different... volume situation you yeah know? i mean i can't imagine someone being 100 percent lucid when they come out of a resurrection spell. yeah no yeah. i, just... I believe more of like self-defense like if i if i'm attacked and i use my pepper spray i'm not looking to see this is the one weapon i know that's going to protect me i don't care who's around uh, I'm pretty comfortable in using the verbiage fracture the party when you kill Leo, Steve, and the rest on the merchant ship, where other have used this as more of a practical joke at getting across the river than, hey, we have well, to do this so there's Leo dire consequences. Come downstairs and attack me earlier? We're not no, trying to create no another are, null in the in all the all the wagon people. <laughs> oh no! All of our friends died. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in saying that morality challenge there. I think it's oh. a really tough one when so far everyone we've met has pretty much tried to kill us. So, <laughs> how do we not have mega trust issues? Yeah, has <laughs> tried so to far, kill we you. Haven't had like a you good guys situation. endangered. You guys have in, so far endangered the folks in the caravan. You've That's, endangered the group. Wow. And, no, you guys have done that. You have actively they, interfered. They had a null in their thing. They were yeah. endangering themselves. Wait, can we just you, say Jacob whoa, whoa, whoa. has ended <laughs> all these innocent? I, you guys can spin this to make yourselves Jacob. feel better in any fashion. Like, but Copium. <laughs> they weren't they were <laughs> risk averse in that situation. He was sleeping. But they could be Rose left alone boxing. as well. <laughs> Also, can we acknowledge for a second, you can be as risk averse or not risk averse as you like. You still misty stepped into the thing with the knoll. I was the only one trying to get into that carriage. I'm just the yeah. one that succeeded first. And everyone else was just okay. No, no, no. Everyone else, I think, was like leaving it be or trying to get it out with words. You just, you just went full send, and you were like, nah. I don't <laughs> yeah, you landed on. You tell me that Biddy wasn't trying to get to that carriage. Elemental. You but went like, from step A, I'm on a sleeping giant, to fire beast. Well, that was meant to be a distraction, not a... And you just appeared <laughs> next to it. Yeah, you didn't tell the truth. <laughs> I think the most interesting thing coming up, though, is we've still got that reckoning. Because we, we all saw actively mm -hmm. that Brom's res failed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Jacob is still somehow alive, so at some point someone's going to bring that up. Right, and be like, how the hell are you alive anyway? <laughs> After you got totally murdered by all of the crossbow bolts and currently look a little bit like a cactus. Right? <laughs> it's a cool look. All the young kids are doing it these days. Yeah, Thomas <laughs> looks hot. Thomas yeah, is hot. Ooh. It's the cactus challenge. 
please don't make that a thing. My God, please don't make that a thing. <laughs> Listen, Thomas is lit. Fact. Thank you for a few of you chuckling for that. You guys are now stuck in like a, uh, like an anti-hero indebted situation <laughs> for at least one more job mm. now. <laughs> That's why we're being stuck in detention. Wait, why is it an anti-hero? Yeah. Stuck in detention? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I feel like there's going to be some animosity towards Brom in the future with these characters, you know? Like, the guy that was going to get him paid just made a deal to put him in debt. And I don't know if everyone... Well, Xanrin made the deal. Xanrin well, made the Brom deal. Was solving the deal. That, that uh, Brom wrote the check the to get out of. Let's make Yo, I'm up bored bad. beating up Xanrin, you know. <laughs> We've already got a start on it. <laughs> uh, you know, we tend to hate the messengers. <laughs> the yeah, look, I mean, you know, it was less a deal I made and more a deal that was forced upon me at the point of a rapier. So it's, you know, That's like, true. the way you slice it really matters in this one. But I mean, yeah, I, you didn't really have an I option mean, to. The, the dice just enroll in your favor to get anything higher. Yeah. I could wake up and it'd be a full pirate yeah. mutiny, you know? Eight daggers in, you roll Brahms' little frumpy ass over the edge, and you guys become <laughs> pirates? <laughs> Shit could happen. <laughs> it'll just wake up, it'll be like, Commander, there's something you need to see up on deck, and it'll just be us stabbing. <laughs> so just go back under deck, it's fine. We're gonna pretend nothing happened. <laughs> gonna be fucking jacob has drawn out another pentagram with my assistance it's like yeah yeah we'll see what the i like how biddy disapproved of all of this <laughs> she got rung into all of this <laughs> that is true you didn't disprove it and nelson was just sleeping and now he's broke yeah <laughs> nelson. The servitude on this ship <laughs> broken bald what are we gonna have of him <laughs> <Not bald. laughs> he doesn't look like a vulture <laughs> I took one like off of his thigh. thigh. She reached up and pulled one for you. Under my robe? Mm -hmm. We had to know if you had regular legs or like yeah, chicken legs. Yeah, we need to look. Are you saying it's a ball feather? No, on your thigh. Birds don't have balls. Uh, <laughs> they have, yeah, you they got pick and thighs though. I just, <laughs> oh. at the Do end. Do you have balls? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what know. we're getting into now? This is no the lore that, that we Kinku need. Do, Deep cuts. What Kenku uh, are rocking? You know, I don't know. At the end of the you day, decide. Leo's gonna sit down after handing that envelope <laughs> over. Oh no! In 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 about two and a half to three hours, and he's gonna realize that you finally aren't soulless. We, we went into after, some... After the people he's handing the money to have seen so <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And then Nelson's gonna confirm it. <laughs> With a song. This oh, is... Man. I'm gonna go well. Oh, Leo, we swindled you good, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have no friends. They're getting sure. a new boat out of it. On the Watcher's yeah. Dime. I think the real question for the rest of the campaign is will Xanarin learn how to cast invisibility properly? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm it out. like an armadillo. He just jumps straight up when he gets scared. I like how you've interpreted it. It was like, it's your shitty spell casting that cost me this. Yep. As opposed to the tripping over your own feet. Why would tripping in the invisibility? That's on you, bud. <laughs> they can go all day. That's a... There's going to be a point at which it's called for, and I'm just going to be like, you know what? No, it doesn't work. So, I mean, why would you Why would you have use for it? It's going to be great, <laughs> honestly. I can't, like, legitimately, there are going to be fantastic repercussions to this entire moment. <laughs> like, long, and if there's the immediate stuff of everyone wanting to punch the fuck out of Xanrin, which is going to be hilarious. Already have, and, not wanting. Oh, already have. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed. Pop just does not know what's going on, so you'll be absent of a bunny. <laughs> immediate consequences and then there will be the far-reaching consequences like never trusting me ever again when i say just play along psychically <laughs> which i have done like three times in this process I, and i all love that the times it's gone wrong i love that way. bife can't uh, can't help or not bife uh toff can't help but say everything you say out loud yeah one of these days you'll remember <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> i at least tried to be kind about what words i repeated mm -hmm. well Oh, that was so brilliant, though. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, Nelson wanted to have your back. Wanted to have Toss back. Yeah. Here's the whole message again. <laughs> yeah. Like a record player. You remember when you said this? <laughs> oh, man. It'll be fine. We'll deal with the consequences later. But as a team... It's a I great... did like my little banter with Victor at the beginning when I summoned mm. my Echo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sassy. That was a good yeah. comeback, too. Yeah. You were quick on that. Mm -hmm. It was good shit. You know, at least she got some hits on him. <laughs> I can only imagine Nelson decorating our vessel now to look as metal as possible before we <laughs> sail in. Just yeah, really just lean into this blood sails. pentagram. Can we, we'll just make it look like the ghost ship. We've already yeah, described it as haunted. The holes in our sails. <laughs> uh, yeah, Toth, Toth did a pentagram at the bottom of the ship with his own blood. Yeah. That's what I got while I was away. Well, Jacob's dead and uh, blah, blah, blah. You should have started with blood pentagram. We tried to make it look like uh, like there was a ghost or some sort of demon that abducted us in the bottom. So we overturned the <laughs> bottom of the ship and then Toth drew a pentagram in his own blood. With my own blood, I cut... Uh, in my paw, and I made my own pentagram. Be honest, it was a really good plan. <sighs> just got Nat one. I mean, it was just, just a faulty invisibility spell. Well, you know, I saw it when my mom was a. Uh... Did a paladin draw a demonic <laughs> symbol? Well, my mom uh, went through her own rituals, I so like I could, it. You know, hey, paladin's paladin like she's like ha okay. like or he's paladin. like half death knight almost. Like it's like. Right. Yeah. And it's awesome. Yeah, it's a different, different kind of oath. The paladin's morality is based on their patron. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> no, it's Bruce. true. It's great. So it it's a little be, different. Yeah, it just, has to be yeah. said that's like the most exciting part of all of it, though, is that no matter what happens, Toph seems to be like a catalyst. You know, the plan will be <laughs> spoken I don't want of. That. I don't and want then, this to be my fault. <laughs> no, no, no. It's great, though, because, like, you know, we were only talking briefly about, like, oh, yeah, no, we should totally make it look as though we were abducted. And then, of course, Toph jumps in immediately and it's like, oh, yeah, no, I got you guys with the <laughs> pentagram. And it's like, no, don't do Whoa, 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 whoa. You've jumped like five steps ahead. <laughs> we went from kidnapped by demons suddenly to, oh, yeah, demons have pentagrams. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're gonna commit. Okay. Full set. Story. Belie yeah. Believability. We're in this. I love it. Great I'm episode, guys. Good. It was great. Thank mm -hmm. you. It's really fun. Mm. New city, mm -hmm. new me. Water deep. And the water's <laughs> deep. Did we change our names from Meteor and Core? Yeah, we still rode on the meteor. Like that didn't affect. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A... Since we're going incognito, if we're refreshing our names or something, <laughs> <laughs> we just exited it out. It's like not we got meteor new, core. <laughs> new new tavern names. <laughs> but Sanrin, mm -hmm. you still have to go with Zola, Solas. That's your that's your mark. Oh. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Different that's one. Totally a thing. Now Betty totally will become Betty. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna have some identity questioning thing, and then you're gonna just become soulless and forget who Xanarin was. At all. <laughs> I had always yeah. envisioned us to be very much multi city. Uh, it's because we're at high level and we can bounce around and do, we can take serious jobs. This will be a level up, everybody. <gasps> oh, oh, we're leveling up. We're leveling up. I already exited out, so someone remind me in chat. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Level up, heading to the new city and trying to figure out how to sail a ship together, which should be hilarity. Mm. I'll be adding sailing uh, as a uh, button on everybody's shit Hell for next yeah. session. Christopher Cross, our Thank character you. sheet's out. Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Practice those sea shanties. <laughs> That'll wrap up for our after show. Thank you all for watching. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>